Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and anybody else watching this video. My name is Derek Lipsky, coming to you live from my office. Today we're going to be going over a 23-point uh, plan of action on how to get a home sold. This is just going to go point one. Don't worry, it's not the whole thing. Um, people ask me all the time, how do you get home sold in this kind of economy? What do you do different than other people are doing? Um, agents ask me the same thing. Um, and this really isn't a secret. It's just hard work, and I think a lot of people just choose not to do it or don't know how to do it or whatever the case may be. Uh, it's not a secret. The same plan I use for selling a $200,000 home is the same plan I use for selling a $2 million home. It doesn't change uh, the way you get the home sold and what you need to do to get it sold. Um, so th this is going to give you a, sort of the step-by-step -step process on what we do. And if you're for sale by owner, think of sale by owner, you can certainly use this plan. Try to uh, implement it and see if you have the time. Usually people that sell their homes have other jobs. If they didn't, they'd be a real estate agent full-time. Uh, tip, tip number one, what we're going to be doing is going over to putting the home in MLS. That's instantly going to notify every agent out there that the home is for sale. But when I say put it in MLS, I really don't mean just stick it in MLS. I, what I mean by is create an ad that sells. Don't use the classic ad that says, uh, great, great opportunity, Howard Floor, central air, ceramic tile, won't last, must see, um, sellers open and negotiate. <clears throat> All right, so that's, that's really a bad ad. Um, when I go over, I'd, uh, if a house didn't sell and I saw that, I'd, I'd revamp the whole thing. You gotta have an ad that sells. It's gonna be a finger stopper. It's gonna cause someone to say, "Wow, what is this about?" And and really, you want to talk about what you're gonna enjoy about the home. What are the benefits? Because that's how you sell things to people. The benefits of it. Why would you want to live here when you can live at 65,000 other homes available in MLS? What's the difference between this property? Is it your right price? Is it the right location? Is it the right school system? What does this home offer that other homes don't have? What do you enjoy about sitting on the porch? What do you enjoy about Halloween, trick-or-treat neighborhood? What do you enjoy about Christmas next to the fireplace with little Jimmy opening presents? I mean, those are the kind of things that actually help sell. You know, Howard Floor Central, ad, that can all be encompassed in the body of the ad in terms of the features and benefits. But in, in an ad, it has to be an ad. Telling is not selling in this marketplace. Believe me, I list a lot of homes that don't sell, and I see them all the time. It's the same ad I did five years ago when it didn't matter what you did with the property. The homes were sell because there weren't enough to choose from. Today, we've got to be different. We've got to say, what's going to make this home different than the other homes out there? That's an ad that sells. And do the photos. We have a photo uh, tip on this uh, a few weeks ago. Get nice shots of the home. Make the rooms look big. Um, clean the rooms, please. Take shots of the outside, make sure the lawn, the mulch, the flowers are out, get the rubbish barrels out of the way, I mean, the cars out of the driveway, everything and anything. Make sure this is the best shot you have because once you put it in MLS, it feeds a lot of other subsystems, so this ad has got to be good. Okay, so at, that's tip number one. We'll go over tip number two tomorrow. Um, this portion is what we call Viewer Mail Monday. Unfortunately, we don't have any Viewer Mail Monday this week. This is the first week we haven't had Viewer Mail, so I don't know if I'm not doing my job right or what the situation is, but... Um, I did have something else for you. I figured I'd share a funny story with you. I was out this weekend and I had to get some work done to my truck and I have a new truck and I don't know, it's making some weird noise. So I go to the auto mechanic and I pull up and I go in there and you know, I'm not mechanically inclined. I don't know if a truck needs a Johnson valve. I'm just like, oh, whatever it needs, get it. You know, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, that's not my forte. I, I wish it was. I'm not a carpenter either. I, not really great with my hands in terms of getting stuff done like that. I wish I had that gift, but I don't. So I get to the shop, and the guy goes, what's going on with it? And I'm like, you know, if I was like Johnson Valve, I'm like, oh, the Johnson Valve needs to be adjusted in the back, and you take care of it. But I don't know what it is. I'm like, it's making a noise. And he goes, well, what kind of noise is it making? And he asked me this question when there's about six people standing around, and I've got to kind of make this noise in front of these guys. And, I, you know, I don't know about noises, but I'm like... It goes, <laughs> can you fix that? And, and you know, and, and no one says anything, but I can tell with the eyes, the nonverbal communication, like, holy moly, what is this guy on? So he goes, let me take it for a ride, which I wish he would have asked for the beginning. And Eddie, if you're watching next time, please ask me next time. Just take it and you, you can listen to the noise. I don't want to make that noise in front of people because I don't know what I'm doing. He goes, I got to fix it, but it's going to take some time. So I need a car, obviously, in real estate. I'm showing houses. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sell houses, and I'm, I'm out and about all the time. So he gives me this loaner car to drive around in. And this thing is, just like, from the 70s. It's beat up. It's, I mean, it's just, like, really retro. And that's why he tells me it's a retro car. I'm like, I don't like retro. But anyways, he gives me this car. It, it, it is nice of him to do it. So, I certainly, Eddie, I appreciate it. But the reality is this thing ended up having a short in the horn. So every, like, five minutes... You'd, it would beep for no reason, like eight times every eight seconds. 
So I'd be driving and it would just meh, 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 meh. and then it wouldn't do anything for 15 minutes. It was just the weirdest thing. So I, I end up driving this car and I'm trying to go back to my shop. I end up getting caught in, in some traffic. Now, this is the funniest part of the story. I, I'm, I'm, I'm caught bumping a bump of traffic and all of a sudden this thing just starts beeping. Meh, meh. And, and I can see the guy in front of me looking at me like in the rearview mirror, just like, what the hell is this guy doing? And I'm, I don't know how to communicate to him that I'm not beeping at him. So I try to think of something funny to do. So I turn the radio on and, and I act like I'm beeping to the music, you know, but the problem is the horn is not going to the beat of the radio. So I'm like waiting for, you know, a song to kind of look like I'm doing some kind of a beat. And it, I, it just would go at the most inopportune moment. It didn't look like it was on beat at all. I looked like the most uncoordinated white guy in the world and I'm just trying to do this facade to keep this guy from thinking I'm actually beeping at him and uh it was actually a pretty funny funny story I guess you had to maybe you had to be there to enjoy it but uh I don't know that's it I just figured I'd share that funny story with you guys all right so anyways I don't do this for fun I do it to be number one any questions comments call me anytime 508-326-5320 leave an email here for next week view mail Monday any questions you have at all about real estate something you thought about didn't think about someone asked you one time didn't know the answer, let me know, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.